Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the I sticks. Am, I have it. We're playing Madden 20. It's the, the 20th. Dolphamite Saga. Continues. Oh, TNT Dynamite, the quarterback of the world. And we're going to kick the crap out of Kansas City. Yeah, dude. You like that, Jonas? Alliteration with two letters. Oh, yeah. Ho homonyms. How did you do that? Homophones. Homophobes? Homophobes. No, dude, we're not fo homophobes. I, I said homophones, not phobes. Homophones? What that? What is that? Homophones. Homophones? Yes. What is that? Homo means one. Yeah. One. Phone means sound. One sound. So two words that are spelled two, differently. Two words, one sound? No, Hello, two words that the sound the same but mean different things. Homonyms, you mean? No, nem means Today, word. We've got what should be a good Excuse one. me? <laughs> <laughs> Homo means <laughs> Homo means one. Nim means word. That is two words that are spelled the same but pronounced differently. Homophones are two words that are spelled or that sound the same right. but they can be spelled differently. Like sure. uh, like what? Like gate and gate. You can close the gate yes. or you can have an abnormal gate. What is the second one? Is it spelled G A I T? Yes. Oh, okay. Those That's are homophones. Dude, English major. So, we're not going to talk about my English class. <laughs> just say, I was just we can get into English class. I was letting you talk, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I don't want to be teaching people no. stuff. No, you get, they don't come here to learn. They come here to hear about our. They come here to learn how to play Madden. Yeah, they come here for our antics and to learn how to play Madden. Oh, I like our antics, guys. Dude, our antics are good. Um, if you could only eat one fast food restaurant for the rest of your life, yeah. if, you weren't, if you weren't a vegan, what would you choose? I don't know, like man. every single meal forever had to be from this fast food restaurant. Yeah. So you could use their whole menu as much as you wanted, yeah. but breakfast, lunch, dinner, you had like a you had like a, a Jared Subway card. No petty stuff involved. You were like the spokesman. You could just go and like do whatever you want, whenever you want. I'm not gonna lie to you. The thought of eating at any fast food restaurant for the rest of my life is like just freaking kill me, dude. Just end my life if that's what it comes down to. But if I had to choose, well, let me ask you this before you choose. Do you Does pizza count? Uh, see, now that's an idea right there because that might have to take the cake. Would something like Chipotle count as food? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so. Because if you're gonna let pizza places just say like, like pizza, oh no, so you can't use Chipotle. Yeah, we have to sell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would have to, man. It's so bad, but so it good. Is, dude. I don't like really change as far as my eating habits go over the last few years, and I rarely ever eat out. And if I do, it's like usually a sit-down restaurant. Mm -hmm. But I will still go to Taco Bell sometimes just because it's I'm just like, good, man. <laughs> so bad. And it is probably like one of the few fast food restaurants that doesn't make me feel like sick afterwards. Because yeah, which is weird because that's the that's like the the stigma behind it is that it makes yeah. everybody feel bad. It does give you a little rot, but but not you know not. To the extent that sometimes <laughs> you gotta clear things out, exactly. man. Exactly. Eggs even eat. It's worth it to me. Yeah, I feel um, But Burger King close number. Ooh, really? Yeah. I put Burger King over McDonald's, man. I've come to I've come to this, this the state. Yeah, the Impossible Whopper is a delicious treat. Um, but I, I just kind of feel like I'm, like tastes better. I'm going from like good memory. Yeah, I, I feel you. Um, all right. So before we get into three, uh, any other restaurant, so at Taco mentioned. Bell. If you could only eat one thing oh my God. from Taco Bell for the rest of your life, cinnamon twist. You would <laughs> oh, every meal cinnamon twist. Oh my God! I, would, that, I just want to die for me. Cheesy potatoes. <laughs> That's all you're gonna eat. Is the hash browns with yeah. sauce on it. Like, I don't know, man. Like I want to say a nacho bell, and then I'm just like. I don't know. Do you don't F with chalupas, right? No, I don't. I don't like the fried. Uh, I like the gordita, which is the same thing, but not fried. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I love the pita bread. Of it. So good. See, I used to really like chalupas back when they had Baja chalupas. Do you remember the Baja sauce? And then they discontinued. They put the Baja sauce on uh, cheesy gordita crunches. 
but it's really, really difficult. It's called Baja it's sauce because I've ordered extra of it. Yeah, but I don't think they really recognize it with that don't name anymore. Because yeah, yeah. it seems like everyone I go to, I'm like, can I, I'll say, can I get a Baja Chalupa? But they don't. Like, they're like, we don't have Baja Chalupas. And I'm like, I just want the Baja sauce. We don't have Baja sauce. Oh, I got you. There used to be, at one point, there, they had a... Uh, Monterey Ranch chicken quesadillas, Ugh. and it was it was so good, dude. No, they are not. Yeah, they were so good. And I don't it, want ranch on my thing. It was Monterey Ranch, bro. I don't want Monterey on it either. <laughs> Him or his ranch. Wow. Um, you would want some dude named Monterey's Ranch all over yourself. I think what I would eat if I had to eat there all the time. I think I would probably eat steak quesadillas probably. if I had to eat one thing only from uh, there forever. I don't know, man. I have a problem with just, like, cheese in general. Yeah, well, <laughs> just, like, a direct aversion to it. Yeah, I mean, if it made me sick, I wouldn't want to eat it either. It just gives me the poops. Yeah. And, I, yeah. <laughs> I would absolutely yeah, yeah. think when you're lactose intolerant, that's what would happen. I don't know. Some lactose intolerant people, it gives them, like, severe stomach cramps. Oh, yeah. Some people get real messed up. Like, it did that to my mom. My brother, he gets really bad diarrhea. I think I just... You got, like, the lucky side of it. I kind of did. I get gas and, you know, maybe, like, one of those. Right, right. But, yeah, yeah. Some people, like, are on the toilet for hours. Like, they can't... Yeah. Yeah. The same with my sister, too. I think I just exposed myself to it so much. You know what, man? I have a... Like, I should have said this when my mom was up here. I had a real bone to pick with her. Wow. I do. I got a bone to you pick with my mom. You bone about the dog with me present. I did. Like, I that was, was like mad. a deep-seated childhood. It mom really was. Just was. Like, Haha, took it to the pound. I was like, wow, she, Mama Mike. Yo, damn. she took my dog to the pound because it peed on her plants. I'm like, that's what dogs do. You didn't train it, man. I, had, I would train that dog. <laughs> I guess there's no Caesar Milan back then. Anyway, no, I got a bone to pick with my mom. Yeah, okay. Because when I was a little dynamite junior, I would eat oatmeal with condensed milk, or I would eat regular cereal every day before I went to school. Okay. And then Why is that a bone? Jonas. The lactose intolerance oh, was with me. I got you. I so got you. I was constantly Everyone having you were the fart guy. Jonas, in the third grade, this is the first time I've ever told anybody this, Jonas. They used to call me stinky because I would fart all the time because my mom was feeding me milk. Joe, it was not until the fifth grade that I was like, I don't know. Mom, I really I keep farting all the time at school. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't drink any more milk. I'm like, what do you mean I shouldn't drink any more? She was like, well, I'm lactose intolerant. She's like, well, I'm lactose intolerant. Your brother's lactose intolerant. Your sister's lactose intolerant. Maybe you're lactose intolerant. It's like your thing. Now that my fragile childhood psyche is shattered, <laughs> right. because I've been made fun of for the last three years of my early childhood. Oh, you want to tell? Thanks. Needless to say, when I decided to eat toast instead, I just gained weight instead of gain. <laughs> <laughs> then they called you something else. <laughs> I was like, oh, just eat pancakes instead. Oh, good. Great. Oh, look at Dynamite knocking off the sack. Okay, excuse question. Part of the equation. Because I knew you were going to say Taco Bell, and I do too, because that's like, well, where, you said Burger King? I told you my top three, man. Burger King, Arby's is a severe honorable mention. Arby's? It is, man. Those roast beef sandwiches are amazing. I'll give you that. It's very expensive, though. You're spending like $15 when you go to Arby's. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, I guess the question. Yeah, man. Treat yourself sometimes. Treat yourself. <laughs> But I was eating Arby's. There were Arby's right down the street from me when I lived in uh, Florida. Uh, and I would frequent it often. There's only one Arby's that I know of in Austin. And I've only been to it once in the six years I've lived here. Where's it, Arby's at? It's on uh, Lamar in Capital, Texas. Oh, man, it's like it's so hard to get to. It's like on the frontage road, but it's like isolated on this yeah. little island. Like. Huh. I kind of want some. Of them. Oh, I wonder why they don't F with Arby's down here. I don't know because they're all like. <laughs> the they're all like, is it brisket? 
I don't know, man. It's weird. Maybe it's just like a more northern thing because I've seen them all over up north. Yeah, there's only one I know of down here. But then I've only seen like two Waffle Houses in my entire stint across the country up north, man. Yes. Okay, here's the question. What food item from a fast food place, pizza place, any sort of like that, is something that you love that they discontinued that you can no longer get? Freaking Baja Chalupas! the Taco Bell stuff we already mentioned, man. What are you trying to condense me down to one item? Like, no, just something like, oh, man, Burger King used to have the blah, blah, blah sandwich with a... Uh, penis on it, and I love it. Whoa, Jonas. <laughs> How did you know I love penis sandwiches? I've, I've known you a long time, Frank. Jesus, man. If you braise it just right. If you braise that. <laughs> <laughs> braise that Dick Tracy, Jonas. It tastes Dick delicious. Dick Tracy braising. Uh, oh, man, Jonas, man, you are asking some questions right now, yeah, sir. Yeah, I don't. What I do? I don't know. I could not tell you. Pizza Hut had a pizza. But go ahead and tell it. I man. have. You I had still, one in in the chamber. I, I could tell. Still to this day, dream of this pizza. <laughs> it was called the Insider, man. The Insider. And it was too thin crust. And in between the two thin crusts was cheese. And then on, uh, on the top, they put the, the sauce and the uh, toppings and more cheese. They brought it back uh, in like about two years later, and it was called something else, and it was a different crust. Because the first time, the crust was soft, the second time it was crunchy, and it wasn't as good. <laughs> and I, dude, I was in love. <laughs> that sounds like the heart attack on a plate. <laughs> it was so freaking Good. I want to make one at home. <laughs> do it, dude. You can make it happen. I got. I can get the crust at the store. I could probably make a doobly, but I'd have to like. I don't know. I almost have to like cook the bottom crust and then put yeah. the and then put the top crust raw on top of it. Like, yeah. Because if not, it wouldn't. Cook. It would get soggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that if I want to eat ten thousand calories. In a <laughs> you don't. But if I'm gonna do it, I'll get like real bacon. And I'll, I'll do it right. <laughs> Do, I'm gonna make a pizza pie, literally a piece of cake, more like it. <laughs> make a cake pizza. Be the cake yeah, dude, that was my jam. Was the inside and the Monterey Ranch chicken quesadilla. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said, man, that Baja sauce was definitely the only thing I can think of that like really had me at a point in time where I was like, we gotta go to Taco Bell and I need two Baja Chalupas stat. And they're like, but it, what? And they're like, no, no, you're not, you don't understand. I will steal your car. I will steal your car. So I love how that guy just stole the ball for, and now he's in the <laughs> he's in the stands, dude. Oh, now he's over here. No, that's you. <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm sorry. That that one knee came up. <laughs> Quite a oh, they're going to booth review it now? <laughs> what do you got a booth review? Are they going to show him diving into the stands again? Oh, there he is. Wait, hold on. Did, did, did he get his feet down? One oh, and dragged it. it. Yeah, dude. That's why he's a superstar. <laughs> I think it's funny that added this. It's, it's good. It adds. Oh, yeah. It, has, it adds the... Look, you, you and him are just chatting on the field. Like, come on, man. We know he did it. He's like, how'd you teleport through that wall, friend? Yeah, Jonas. I've, I've always lived in areas of fast food traffic. That's the whole world now. Yeah, but not really. Well, yeah, if you want to live in poke ass, you know, you'll get like a Subway and a McDonald's. That's like it. Yeah. Do you ever get anything at that Krispy Kreme? No. I, dude, even I when never. I ate like a fat yeah. boy, yeah. I, uh,. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't eat crispy corn. I can't, dude. It's too much sugar. I literally burp up sugar all day. Oh, that's right. You don't like sweet stuff. No, no. But even when I did, even when I was a, when I ate like a freaking champion, dude, Krispy Kreme donuts have always gave me mad heartburn. Really? Any donut anymore gives me heartburn. But if I eat a Krispy Kreme, it's like it's like you take sugar and form it like a donut. Yeah. And then they like put a little bit of color on it, and they're like, here you go. Yeah, fine. But like at least Dunkin' Donuts is a little more cakey. You can taste the grit. In a Krispy right Kreme, <laughs> it's like there's unprocessed <laughs> sugar. In it. You need some omeprazole, fam. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong though. You're not wrong, but I do love like those. What are those braided like crawlers? Oh yeah, I think that's. Oh yeah, and you dip them in the coffee. You, you know, like the what's the bag of those things you can get? Like the little know. mini one. There's like a white I've never bag. Ruler boy, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and they're like full of like those little. Those are my jam, man. Are they? I, I always never like the cream those. sticks, man. Like cream the, sticks. The it's like a, it's like the long skinny cake donut with chocolate frosting, and the inside has like white cream in it. Are or they shaped like a penis? What? Are they shaped like a penis? I mean, 
if that's a penis, that's the weirdest shaped penis I've ever seen. But I mean, they're very, they're very phallic, I guess is the right term, but not like a penis. And, and sometimes they have custard inside, so it's like vanilla pudding instead of. Sounds like a penis. They're so good, dude. Oh my god. I don't like, I don't like pudding in my. In my I don't stuff. like the, the Claire ones very much, but the not, I mean the custard ones. Yeah. But the ones that have like the the cream inside, mm -mm, they used to be my jam. I would just be like, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bet you would, sir. Yeah, dude. That's how I do. <laughs> yeah, so I would. I, I don't know. My mom used to get me. You know, my mom was. She was a bad mom sometimes, dude. Oh, I feel you on that, dude. <laughs> she would get me. She would get me jelly donuts, and I hated jelly donuts. She thought I loved jelly donuts, dude. Well, you know, I was. Uh, Boom. Being called stinky at grade school, so you know. F me for being a little, a little reserved. A little, shy, a little, uh, a little tentative. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Yo, yeah. that ish did change once I got to junior high. There's one thing I'm not it's tentative about anything. I have like such a brazen, oh, no, I guess brazen is not the right word, but like. I don't know. You should have body slammed that chick that was hitting you at the juggalo thing. Oh, dude. I just, no. <laughs> They go play action here on <laughs> could have <laughs> <He's gonna laughs> <laughs> pressed charge. <laughs> I could have. Like, she, she you could have pressed charge. I could have, dude. I could have. Yep. Yep. But there was no cameras back then, so it would have been your word against hers. Yeah. Defense is probably gonna need yep. to hold these guys right Juggalo around Nation, man. <laughs> that if they were going to have a chance. And I'm like, whoop, whoop. They would have formed up. Yeah. It was, dude, it was pre-whoop, whoop, dude. It was like Because, like, when they got to the whoop, whoop, I was done. Like, it like, like, once Great Malenko came out, and they, like, like the What is a Juggalo song came out on that album, that was, like, the last one that I was, like, into, and then I just kind of, like, let it flounder. Like, I, like, before that. Yeah. It got a little too deep, man. When it's like sure a, it's like a, a cult. A cult. I'm good. It is definitely like I'm a cult. I'm good on cults, dude. And Unless it was your cult, and I would help you formulate it. Yeah, Jones, we should start a cult. If you want to be in our cult, send all your money to P.O. Box. My face. Is that how the it's addressed? Yes. Wow, okay. Hit us up on... Hit us. cult.com. Yes, buy us games on Xbox Live and just send them to our gamer tags. You know what they are. Yeah, exactly. Look at a video. It's in the Look at it. Hint, it's very similar to one <laughs> Mine is... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, dude, Good we got know. it. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, uh, man. So, yeah, I miss I miss some fast food items. What what about an item that isn't a fast food that is food related that used to eat and that is now gone? Wow, oh, man. I don't know if I if I have that strong of a connection with food. Like, uh, I miss when my dad, I miss when my dad would make enchiladas. <laughs> I remember them issues right there. Enchiladas are good. Enchiladas, man, are banging. I miss uh, sugar-free amp energy drinks. They're the Mountain Dew amp, <laughs> sugar-free. I drank them bees like they were the fuel of life, and then they stopped making them, and I was sad. And then one time I was driving home from Ohio to Texas, and I stopped at a podunk-ass little gas station, and they had four left, and I bought all four, and I, sa and I saved one for Christmas morning, and I drank that ish on Christmas morning. No, it's a good story. <laughs> it's a good story. It tasted so, so bad because it was so expired. They should have not even sold them to me because it had already been like six months since I seen one. I'm like, oh, they got some. Let me buy them. And I was like, these are bad. And I drank them anyways. Fair enough, man. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. That's what you got to do. But speaking of what we got to do, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that for us, just share it with your friends because we would love to see our content in more people's homes. Catch you on the next one. We are out.